and welcome back to my channel. I am Tegan, here taking you on the adventure of a lifetime with me and my best friend. We sold all of our belongings. Everything that we own is either with us in our suitcases or in our five by five storage unit that we are sharing. We are here now in Portugal. I am going to be taking you with me on this crazy adventure. We honestly have zero plan. All we booked was a ticket to Lisbon, and now here we are in the beautiful Lagos. I am so excited to show you. This has been our absolute favorite place so far. I don't even know how many days it's been. We are officially losing track of time. I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't realize it would be this soon. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably been five days. I'm a little bit hoarse right now. <laughs> we have been having the freaking time of our lives. We are not normally night lifers. Jenna and I like to go to bed really early, but in Europe, everybody starts the night late. So everybody goes to dinner super late. And in this town, there's a really cute downtown with a lot of um, bars and restaurants. So we've actually acclimated pretty quickly to starting to go to dinner late and go out later. We have met some of the coolest people around. So yes, I'm a little hoarse in my voice because I've been there on the dance floor like woo every night and my throat is suffering for it a little bit. I've got my tea, my little minion mug that we have here in our Airbnb. I will have to get used to showing you our Airbnb before we trash it. <laughs> not that we've trashed it but our shit is just everywhere so I'll get in the habit of showing you before we just unpack our stuff everywhere if you've been watching you know that we have a lot of stuff with us so it's just like clothes are everywhere but we have this beautiful balcony we have a pool a spa downstairs we're in this beautiful condo community Lagos is beautiful sometimes we feel like we're not even in another country because it feels like we're in california there are a ton of expats here it kind of feels like we're on the marina right now so it kind of feels like marina del rey feels like southern california but southern california has both of our hearts when we move back to cali if we move back to cali we'll probably end up in southern california it's a little chilly this morning so we've got a little blanket but the weather has been perfect. I think it's going to be 75 today. I'm going to take you to one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever been to in my whole life. We went the other day. It's about a 20 minute walk from where we are. Actually, from where I am, I can see the horizon of the water. But we're not really next to a beach that a lot of people go to. So it's about a 20 minute walk, which is not bad at all. And I definitely need a beach day today. I am the beach queen. Normally when I travel, I go to more beachy island destinations. This is gonna be the first time that I'm trying something new. We're in Europe, so we are going to experience a European winter, which I'm really scared for. I'm a summer girl, so right now I'm just trying to get in all of the sunshine, all the vitamin D. I feel like I'm like a lightning rod trying to soak it all in so that way I could harness it for winter time and be okay. Just need to be okay. So I'm new to YouTube. I'm still trying to figure out what direction my channel is going in, but I have some really great ideas. As you can see so far, I have my Tegan travel series where I will be taking you through all of our travel days. I will be taking you through our favorite spots in town. We also have Tegan's taste second where I am tasting the flavors of the town not necessarily always the most traditional food but I know what I like I'm very particular with food I also once upon a time had a food Instagram if you know you know <laughs> So I'm really passionate about food. So I'll be taking you on the tastes. I will be giving you travel tips and we'll see where else this channel goes. So thanks for coming along for the ride. But today I'm gonna go to the beach and that's all I have planned. I am the biggest fan of the no plan plan. That is how we're traveling this entire trip. We have not one thing booked, not one thing planned. We barely even have a general outline. We just know that we are in Europe we know that for winter time, we will probably head to somewhere like Croatia or Albania. 
we are trying to find a place that we want to settle somewhere that we really like we want to stay for a while we want to settle some roots get acclimated in the community i really would love to get a job still trying to figure out exactly what i want to do with that but i'm also working on growing my personal brand and business so i have a lot of ideas for that too so you'll start to see that develop but yeah the no plan plan is how i like to roll every single day wake up with a bank blank a bank <laughs> like to wake up with a blank slate and just follow my intuition see what the universe has to offer me see where i need to go what i need to do what it's really about is setting intentions for the day so jenna and i set our intentions the other night when we were going out for dinner and we said hey let's just meet some cool people let's have a good time people that want to have fun people that aren't like creepy <laughs> people that are just nice cool fun I ended up going out met the best group ever oh my gosh i'm gonna have to do some sort of series of like interviewing the people that we meet because it's just so cool so today my intention is to have a glorious sunny day that isn't too hot so i can enjoy the beach i want to have a lot of peace and quiet today i am always open to running into new friends i want to meet people from all over the world i feel like i've been setting up this grid of friends all over the place so that's definitely what i want to accomplish so yes my needs are simple today <laughs> those are my intentions and your intentions don't always have to be like wild and crazy i just want to have a smooth beautiful day enjoy the sunshine and that's that so let's see where we end up today cheers yeah, i just want to lose my because Jenna, there's a bug right there, but Jenna is not coming. She has some work to do, so I'm off on a solo adventure, but not so solo, because you're coming with me. Walking on down, we've got the pool over there. We are going to grab a bite to eat, and then head to the beautiful beach. Okay, the plan has changed. I realize that I'm not the hungriest and I'm just really excited to get to the beach so we're gonna go to the beach first and then there is a beach bar restaurant there so once I am ready for a little break we'll get some food there so for now booking it to the beach <laughs> was so peaceful so glorious i had to leave because i'm starting to get a little bit crispy i think i don't want to risk it i just checked out the restaurant menu i didn't love it at the beach bar slash restaurant that's right above the beach so i am heading 
into town to find something that tickles my fancy. So I just had lunch. My plan was not to do a Tegan's Taste episode today. And so I was gonna show you my lunch, but honestly, it was the most disappointing salad I've ever seen in my life. It was not video or photo worthy. <laughs> so I sat by the marina and grubbed it up. I actually just signed Jenna and I up for a boat tour tomorrow, which is something that we have been wanting to do. And we finally found the perfect day tomorrow. That is gonna be a whole video in and of itself probably. We'll see what happens, but um, it's a four hour tour and we are going to kayak, see the dolphins. So now I am walking home. I am all sunned out. I am so hot and sweaty. So it'll be time to take a shower. I don't think we are going to be doing anything tonight because we want to be rested for tomorrow. We have been going out a lot. <laughs> so it'll be um, a nice chill night. But thank you for coming to the beach with me today. It was such a glorious day. I will see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. This is our favorite sign on our walk home. Like, look at that crotch shot. I just can't.